a coffin with up to nine layers using several hundred kilograms of gold. The innermost gold mask is adorned with up to 10 kilograms of pure gold and precious gems, ensuring that it never fades. However, beneath the mask lies a terrible curse, and almost everyone who has come into contact with the tomb has experienced bad luck. This is the tomb of the Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun, which is believed to be the most heavily cursed. And how terrifying he was. In ancient Egypt, the pharaoh was regarded as the incarnation of a god and had supreme power. As the youngest pharaoh, Tutankhamun ascended to the throne at the age of nine. However, he died mysteriously at the age of 18, and the cause of his death remains unknown to this day. The ancient Egyptians removed the internal organs of Tutankhamun's body, filled them with preservatives, and sewed them up. The body would then be soaked in a solution of sodium carbonate for 70 days, preserving the mummy of Tutankhamun for thousands of years without decay. In his tomb, though filled with countless treasures, nothing had been stolen for 3,000 years. People say this is because of the curse of the pharaoh. In 1992, British archaeologist Howard Carter discovered the entrance to Tutankhamun's tomb, and his patron Lord Carnarvon arrived soon after. When they were about to enter the tomb, they found a terrifying curse inscribed on the door. Death shall come on swift wings to him who disturbs the peace of the king. As an atheist, the archaeologist was driven by curiosity and eventually opened the door to Tutankhamun's tomb. When the incredibly luxurious coffin was opened, it was as if Pandora's box had been activated. Disasters and tragedies occurred one after another. Carnarvon was bitten by a mosquito in the tomb and developed a lump, eventually dying of sepsis one year later, which is chilling because the bite was in the same location as the scar on Tutankhamun's face. Months later, Carnarvon's brother, who had stepped into the tomb, committed suicide due to a sudden onset of schizophrenia. In the following six years, all 22 archaeologists who excavated and examined the tomb died in mysterious circumstances, including Professor Derry, who unwrapped Tutankhamun's mummy and took several x-rays before suddenly developing a high fever and rapidly declining in health, dying the following year. Others also suddenly contracted deadly illnesses with no cure. Could this really be the curse of the pharaohs at work? Modern scientific research indicates that victims like Carnarvon were likely infected with bacteria in the tomb and died from the disease. These bacteria had survived for three or four thousand years in the tomb, making modern medical treatments ineffective. Howard Carter was lucky enough to avoid this fate as he discovered the tomb and then retired. He thus became the most powerful evidence to refute the rumor of the pharaoh's curse.